Yeah. Hello, everybody on the official one. <laughs> good to see everybody. We've got a good turnout tonight. Hello, Linda. So, Hi. was everybody on here on <laughs> yesterday's convention? Yes. Absolutely. Good. Yes. And what Hello. was the feedback? How did you enjoy it? Excellent. Oh, awesome. As always. And right. We don't want to hear excellent or fantastic. It was wonderful. We want to know what you actually got out of it. Was there a specific okay, I was session start. that you liked? Yes. Who's starting? I will. Go on, see. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm very proud of Charlie and his team, as always, the big, uh, in the big cream of the crop. <laughs> but as he said, it's thank you to all the nursery. And um, it just shows you that's one thing we mustn't forget also to um, just congratulate our nursery. Um, for me, was the best. Um, she, she wasn't a first time speaker, but you can see she's very experienced and she's absolutely doing what she's saying. And that is Melissa Butler. I've learned a lot from her as always. Um, we, we, maybe just me, um, talking too much. And she is setting a perfect example, I think, building relationships and not putting everything out there on Facebook and WhatsApp and everything. Um, so really I've learned a lot. Um, yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, I, would, I, would agree, I would agree with Auntie. For me, Melissa's talk was excellent. I've actually been listening to the guy today because I just think it's something that we need to really embrace um, in this day and age. Um, when we're all confined to our homes and we're not able to meet people face to face anymore, or not very often anyway. Um, I think she's got a lot to tell us and we need to learn from from that and put it into practice. Correct. Both Melissa and Alan are amazing. Oh, yes, on, of course. No, Don't throw no, him social around. media. Yes. What about Alan? Yes. <laughs> I've just been listening to the guy. <laughs> Debbie said one. <laughs> So I thought, and one thing, sorry, this is the last thing I'm going to say. One thing about Melissa, she actually is doing what she is teaching. She's practicing what she's preaching. And that's why if we look at her team, they all do exactly what she is doing. I salute them all. Just so important duplication. Okay, anybody else? Okay, let me say something and get over and done. <laughs> yeah, okay. I cannot say, I'm not going to say it's wonderful, fantastic, brilliant, but it just, it, it, it is those things. I, <laughs> but I know, I, I understand what Debbie meant. Yeah, um, yeah, it was excellent. Okay, sorry. Sorry, Debbie, <laughs> but it was excellent. <laughs> yeah, I, was. I, after all these many years, every time you attend a convention like this, you learn. And my ears were open, and my heart was open, and my attitude was open. Um, yeah, it was good. All the sessions was good. And I sat very obediently for four hours. Can you believe it? I only got up once. <laughs> I thought I would never make the four hours sitting still. But I would just say, for me, the best was, is that... Um, I was motivated. I don't say I'm unmotivated, but just looking at my own circumstances myself, um, uh, uh, it, I left with a better mental attitude. Let me put that way. You know, you, you can't have a, a not a good mental attitude when your heart is open and you listen. So, yeah, I will say the, the best for me was that I, I think my attitude, my mental attitude improved. Not that it was very bad, but I could do with improvement. Good. Well okay. done, Linda. I think we all need that boost from time to time. Oh, yes. Absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. Can I say, can I pop in? Go for it. Um, no, we had fun. Uh, Jenny, Norma, and I watched together. 
So we had good fun and whatever. We brought things and we ate. Uh, and then while we watched and doing it was lovely. And um, I've just, I've, I just agree with the thing with Melissa Butler was really inspirational. The whole thing, I think, was, yeah, it's like a, a pump up thing for the whole, obviously everything is good, you know, but Melissa definitely, we kind of relate to her, I think, because we kind of all know her and she's, you know, so we've seen her for years. And those two African guys who started with nothing, who was the guy, I forget his name, him and his oh, brother yes. or something, what was the story? Yeah. yeah? And yeah. Oh, yes, listening to the guy and how he talks now and how he manages mm. us, it's amazing, you know, to see where they came from and where they're at now. That was really nice, you know. So that's the kind of thing you want to you want to be able to get this part of the clip of the of the whole convention out to be able to show people because there are a lot of people who have nothing. And they tell you, oh, well, no, there's, I know they look, I make excuses as well, but you get a lot of people who will, you know, they can't do this and they can't, oh, they haven't got a car. Remember the other guy who always was always smiling. He didn't have a phone and didn't have a car. Remember? Mm -hmm. And he was always, he was doing great. I, what was his name, Jenny? Bibi? Philip. Philip. From Maritzburg. No, no, yes, no. from Maritzburg. Remember? Remember? Same yes, thing. He, was a, he always walked. Yeah, so you have people like this who get who can do amazing things with nothing, you know. So, you know, if we can find an, if we want to find an excuse, you will. I know I'm very big at excuses for a lot of things, so I, I'm guilty as charged anyway. But it was amazing to see what these two guys did, you know. Mm. That was like mind blowing. So shows you what you want when you, if you want to, you can. Yeah. I'm the first one to sort of say yes, you know, take note. But uh, yeah, no, it was very nice. It was nice to watch the whole thing and follow. Lovely. Yeah. Those individual okay. interviews are available on Telegram. Um, I think ah, Corey's yes. been very, very busy this afternoon or today. Yeah. Uh, so those individual yeah. uh, distributor talks are on the on Telegram at the moment. And, uh, okay, but um, one problem, one problem from Telegram. Can we share it out to all yes. other, any kind of other groups? Or yes. does it just stay on Telegram? No, you just you highlight uh, the link, uh, the, the YouTube link, yeah. and you can send that yeah. out. So you copy and paste into WhatsApp. Oh, so or you wherever. can you can send to WhatsApp or whatever. Oh, okay, Correct. it's good to know. I have done that right. already. Okay. Oh, thank I you. Great. A little nice. short video clip to WhatsApp. Yes. From mm -hmm. Telegram. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, can I just add something to what I didn't say or what I said? Sorry. Um, for me, the best of the whole thing was the vitamin D by uh, explanation by Dr. Ruki. Hey, that, that woman is brilliant. Hey? That was good. Uh, I, we just, I found everybody could hear that, but so few people are interested yeah, in listening to the long thing. But build the yeah, it was a bit long. It was a bit long for you know the technical. I mean, some people like it. It's obviously necessary for the for to explain where it comes from and whatever, but. But it's great that we have a vegan D, which is nice, because then it really shows people that there is nothing bad in it for them, you know? Correct. That's that's what that was nice, yeah. I'm just very glad the individual sessions are on Telegram, especially that one yeah. and yes. one or two others that I would like to look at. I'll have a look, okay. Mm. Can Jenny. I say something? Please go, Bussy. Yes. Um, I learned a lot, guys. And the, 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 you know, to see people taking the next step, each and every person that took a next step there, it, it actually motivated me to actually um, look at my, at my planning again. And, uh, and, and, and I just wanna go to that next step. I just wanna take that next step. So I have to actually look at my planning again and, and work hard really, I'll be making smart but hard as well because I need to take that next step. And the next step, if, if I take that next step, I know even if I have a downline that's willing to do the business, when they see me taking the next step, that will motivate them as well. There was right. this guy uh, from the Soto. Okay, he told his story. He said um, um, uh, both his wife and himself uh, I don't know whether they were retrenched or they lose their jobs or something like that. And they decided to, de to do new life. And in a short period of time, they, they actually emerald directors. And I said to myself, mm, 
I mean, if other people can do this, I can also do it. So they actually motivated me because when I'm when I think about Lesotho, I don't think it's a. Uh, I, I don't know. I've never been there. I, I don't know, but I mean, it's like I can also do it in Devon. You know, if they can do it in this in the sort, I can also do this, the same business. I can do it in Devon. So what's stopping me from actually doing the business? I just have to, you know, look at my dreams again. You know dream more and and just do the business yeah so it was exciting just to see the other people taking the next step when we are in lo in a lo in, in, in lockdown situation you know the whole world has got COVID-19 but they're still doing the business so what is it that's going to stop me and with Melissa as well and the other guy I, I learned a lot from them you know using um uh, our you know Facebook or Instagram you know you can also do the business but just you must know what you're doing you know you, you can't just do it anyhow but they, they gave us the tips you know I, I wrote all those things down so really it's up to me to, to actually go to take the next step yeah it's just a decision that I have to take thank you well done well done this thing excellent very true very Mm. Me? Yeah. Mm. If I start, I'll take the whole half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it no, no it, it is, I liked, I liked a lot about the speakers. I like a lot, uh, what a lot of them said was actually very, very true. Um, obviously the products are fantastic. I'm glad this vegan D, uh, D has come out because uh, I've got quite a few customers that have actually asked for D by itself, so we we got the we've got the pennies now, which is really excited. But you know, when you listen to them talking to Melissa and to that guy overseas uh, who also does um, uh, Ellen, Ellen, <laughs> yeah, and, and you listen to a lot of the other folk in that. At the end of the day, and you can you can different countries obviously are different. Um, uh, aspects and different uh, challenges and 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 what have you and a lot of them are probably a lot poorer than South Africa and but you can make all those sort of reasons and excuses in that. But what really came out to me, which struck struck me really good, was at the end of the day, it's massive action, the desire, wanting something, be it money or whatever, believe in yourself that I can do it, be committed, which is self-discipline, believe you can, and work on the areas that you that think you can't. In other words, work on the areas where, oh, no, I can't talk to that person, or oh, I'm too scared to talk on the phone. And it's all these points that came out right through the course of, of the convention. And I really, and I realized then, if you don't, take cognizance and take action of what I've just said on these seven, uh, six uh, points. We're going to be in the same place next year. Yeah. Thank and, you, Barry. And, and I well, honestly believe we it's time to extract finger now and get going. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's another way of putting it, a polite way of putting yeah, it. Yeah, thank you. Jenny yeah. Holiday? Yes, Barry, we actually have to move. For things to change, you have to change. Now, the beginning of COVID, and even now, it's poor me, myself, and I. Ansi phones me, she says, this is right, I'm going back many months. Ansi says, Jenny, you've got to get onto Zoom. I said, me, Zoom, and I was so apprehensive. Well, she taught me to get onto Zoom. My last... Well, recently I gave up teaching and I was in charge of the resource center. And there was this horrific computer that I was supposed to do all kinds of things on. But thank goodness the school didn't have the resources to fix that computer. But every day I lay <laughs> my hands on that computer for God not to fix it. <laughs> so now, listening to Ellen and Melissa, I thought, you know what? 
for things to change, I've got to change. So yes, we can make all excuses that are useless. I'm technologically challenged. Enough. Enough is enough. So we're going to move forward. And as leaders, for things to change, you have to change. Thank you. Yep. Well, correct. And if Charlie can master technology, you can. <laughs> Let's do that again. That's right. And then, um, I, I, I think I'm uh, to get um, Jenny to do the computer stuff for I don't know how many years now, and I've kind of always given up. But I told you yesterday, and I told you again today, that she needs to get her act together, and she needs to forget about the, the saying that she can't do this or that she's computer challenged. No, I'm not. I'm not saying that. I mean, I learned <laughs> to <laughs> zoom. <laughs> So we around it. Andy, do you want a word? I <laughs> picked <laughs> uh, up a lot of things uh, yesterday. One of the other things that kind of stuck in my mind was to stay focused. And I've had quite a few people on one of my social media things that I've had out in the last three days. And one that's come back to me and trying very hard for me to get into something else. And I've turned him down a few times. And he said to me, why aren't you interested? And I said, do you want to do Neolife? No, he does herbal life. I said, well, I do Neolife and I'm not interested. Thank you very much. So yeah, there's lots of things out there for us to step sideways into and to think that we can make a quick buck. But what we in is perfect for all of us and to help other people. And we've just got to put our noses to the grindstone and get on with it. Yeah, yeah I agree. Can I just share something that I picked up? Okay. Um, and then I think John might, yeah. and then Sean can do his thing. <laughs> Wrap up, Sean. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes. There were little things that I think, if, if you were listening, they were just so so subtle and so clever. I really like Bonnie's talk. Now, I, we know Bonnie. Barry, you know Bonnie. Um, when she said two years ago, she was in Pretoria when the switch went on. Can you remember we stayed in that B&B? &B? Barry, can you remember yeah. we stayed in that B&B &B with those Chinese people and what have you? Yeah, and, yeah. And Bonnie yeah. was there. Yeah. And we had lots of chats with Bonnie. Now, Bonnie's story, that 15 years, she lost her husband and she got totally sidetracked. So for 15 years, she did nothing in the business other than buy her own products. And yet in 15 years, as she said, she never, ever missed a paycheck. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't think of any other company in this whole world that that would happen to. Um, even if you're sick for longer than your 15 days that you're allowed, they start to take your money from your leave and they don't pay you. And I, I just thought, you know, that is such a, a gem to share with people. And also um, what they were saying about that social media, and I was thinking of you, um, Mandy, and all the ones who are on social media, is that maybe we're treating it as a social media and we're not treating it like a one-on-one -on -one that could be. Uh, because that's what both Melissa and Alan were saying. They were saying, when you find somebody who's interested, get to know them, get to know their need, talk to them. Don't even talk to them about the business. Don't even talk to them about products. Just get to know them as a friend and listen to what their need is. And so that's exactly what you would do if you met them in the supermarket. So, um, yeah, I think sometimes with social media, we go in, we open our book, we show them everything. And then if they're not interested, we back off. And maybe, well, I'm speaking to ourselves. Maybe we back off too soon. Um, maybe we're pushing too hard. I, I don't know. But after that talk, uh, we need to listen to it again and just pick up the little gem parts. Because, um, yeah, thank you, Sean. John, are you going to say? Excellent. Oh, uh, good evening, everyone. It was lovely to see a lot of our team were there, which is uh, a, a great uh, boost because 
there's just no way that we could individually discuss what was uh, happening there. But something which was of interest uh, was, uh, again, <laughs> a social media. The, uh, Melissa and Alan both suggested we don't just put products up there. They, they actually preferred a testimony. I don't know if you picked that one up. So mm -hmm. they got more hits from a testimony than just putting up like Super 10 uh, or a, a technical jargon on LDC. So uh, that is number one. And the other one um, was what Borsi said this now. We've got to have a look at our, our structure and our organization and our future planning. Um, I'm going back to the drawing board. Uh, obviously, it's got to be massive action in the right direction. And this is where uh, speed is, is not as important as direction. And I think we got a lot of direction yesterday. Uh, if we look at what's happening, uh, in our business, and whether you like it or not, you all going to start taking steps because the people in your downline, uh, they will boost you up. They're going to, they're going to do it. Uh, it was one of the most more serious uh, conventions I've ever seen. Uh, it wasn't, it wasn't much hilarity going on. It was just business. And I think uh, at the whole uh, uh, convention site there, each one of those testimonies, we could take a nugget out of that one. And then when we formulate our way ahead, we've got to look at our next steps. And uh, it must be just one bite at a time. We can't just go right to the topic. Uh, there's uh, the one guy that went to three Ruby director in about four months. Why, <laughs> why didn't we get to three Ruby director in in four years or 40 years or whatever it's taken us. So uh, obviously what we're doing has not got the time limit that we should, we're running out of time. We've just got to make, be more urgent about the things we do and do more of it. And I believe that uh, uh, Dev and I, we were, we were not mentioned on the, anything of, of the challenges there because it's been a tough couple of years for all of us. Uh, but people have, nevertheless, they've responded and they've, they've come out top. But I think that next year, watch out this team. The, the Ospreys are going to start taking these prizes. We start uh, production. Uh, we're going to start taking a prize away from that guy from Peter Marisburg for sponsorship. Uh, they make me sick when they, they keep coming up the same people. Now, come on, guys. We're better than them, and uh, I know we are. So I think we just set our goal as a team. We're going to be on that board next year, and uh, I just I just know we can do it. We've got good quality people. We've got direction. We've got the know-how. Let's just do what Bruce suggests. Have a look at our organisation, and and let's re-scrap the stuff that start producing. Linda Foster was on there. She yeah. was on a chat. Yeah, Linda, you're the only one. Yay! Oh. And Linda. <laughs> yeah. wow. if, I can't go, if I can't go forward too much, at least I try to stay where I am. Sorry, Linda. Uh, I, 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 when I say Debbie and I, we, I, we went there, but you were there, and you, you were the only one who represented a whole organization. <laughs> hey, but well done, Linda. Uh, you can take it's amazing. A, She's working very hard. Well done. Okay, guys, so I think we can do it. And I know that uh, if we take bits and pieces from yesterday, <laughs> we can do it. <laughs> okay. It was a very, very professional um, convention, actually. Yes. So those oh, tasks were hard. Oh, there was no, yeah. I, I tell you, it was a very professional and mm. um, Drew and Brandon were brilliant, brilliant. the whole afternoon, Absolutely. keeping up that pressure mm. for the whole afternoon. They were fantastic. Mm. So, yeah, no, we, we're very proud of our meal life. Right, Sean, <laughs> we haven't heard from you. I think it was actually almost better than the American one, to be quite honest. Uh, yes, so do I. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the, you know, again, the social media, 
just the relationship building over there is so important. That's where I picked up my podcast inter, um, inter, uh, interview from, um, was just through social media and making a friend. And I'm going to be staying in touch over there. But I've, I've listened to Alan before, and he's got, he's got some amazing, amazing training, mm, which is all available brilliant. for free. It's all there. Mm. It's all freely available to us to just get involved and learn more and more and more. But obviously the things that stood out for me uh, was the technical stuff. Um, I love the talk by Ariana Karugi on the vitamin D. Um, I've listened to it again. I've listened to the launch from last year as well in the States. I was listening to that this afternoon. Uh, Liz will give us a talk on that again this week, I think. Um, yeah, tomorrow very, night. Yeah, definitely worth listening to. And I also really enjoyed the talk on stress. Stress is something I feel we need to focus on. Um, I see stress. it a lot in the medical field. I see the medical staff under huge stress. And I see patients under huge stress. And what's happening at the moment in private specifically is that Part of the stress is no longer the COVID as such because we've learned to, to deal with it. But the stress is there's the, the number of people coming through as patients is getting less. That's probably a good thing. But the bad thing is the reason that people are getting less is that number one, finance. It's incredibly expensive to go into hospital these days. And people are dead scared to go and see their doctor in case they get admitted to hospital. The stress that's preventing them from going there is actually making them sicker. And when you look at that talk by Ariana Karugi, there are so many illnesses. Everybody talks about COVID, but there's a lot of other issues out there that we have the products that can help with them. You don't have to go to your doctor. We are not doctors, but we've got the things to help. We've got all the products. And with this vitamin D, everybody, including the medical people, know about vitamin D because that is one of the things that has been coming to the fore. If your vitamin D levels are low, you're probably going to get COVID and you're going to be sick through it. And we now have that tool to help people because everybody knows vitamin D. Oh, you don't have to sell it anymore. We don't have to sell it. We just have to say, we've got it, people. How many bottles would you like? And yeah. it's not that expensive. It's, yeah. cheap. it's cheap. I wouldn't say cheap, but it's inexpensive and probably about a thousand times more uh, beneficial than the stuff that's available at places like Diskim and the other swear words that are out there. We've got the quality. And I was very pleased to see that she specified the fact that the reindeer lichen, I mean, who would think that reindeer lichen is in the normal food chain? But it is in the Northern Hemisphere. We don't know lichen around here, but that is something that's in the normal human food chain. And again, that just hit home to me how thorough our SAB are, because their mandate is don't look at anything that's not in the normal human food chain. So we don't look at pond scum. I didn't know that, that lichen was in the, in the food chain, but it is. And it's a, it's a survival food. That's how potent it is. So we would never have known that otherwise, but the SAB have done their homework. And there's a lot more products still to come because I know that they're working feverishly in the background and research seems to have been wrapped, uh, ramped up another couple of levels through this COVID, you know, pushing the, the so-called vaccine, et cetera. And we won't get into that, but medical research has gone into overdrive. And I think we're going to see a lot more because we piggyback on that research um, because the SAB is linked into all the top universities in the world. That is why we are always first to market because they're doing the research. This vitamin D has been researched for the last three or four years. 
they were already researching it before COVID hit. They just refined it because this was launched last year at the last year's American convention. So we are actually very privileged to get it this year, very, very quickly after it was launched there. So apart from that, I was fortunate in that I had a downline with me as well. And she left after the, the convention being very, very motivated and saying, right, let's do this. And I do believe we've all had that little nudge and sort of kick in the pants saying, none of the people that were on that convention are special. Everybody's special, obviously, but nobody's more special than you and I. None yeah. of them have got any greater degrees or any more technical know-how. They're ordinary people like you and I. What is stopping us? That was the... I think somehow they're up just doing me. more. Exactly. Not just Doing that, more. They are doing. They're not yes. just talking. They are doing. And that was my wake-up call. I sit all day wheel spinning. I know all the theory. I know all the things that have to be done. I'm not doing. And now I have to do. And yes, Debbie, yeah. last night, writing up my goals, I have written on there that I will be on those top tens next year. Awesome. You can so do it, brother. We are there. I'll be watching. I'll Good. be watching and seeing you again. I need that. Really Which one are you going to do? Building the team or personal development? Uh, number, people? number one, Sapphire, and team building. Yeah. Just a quick thing. Um, with this, with this uh, vitamin D, very good talk. Send it out to everyone that you know. Yes. Uh, it's a good way to to uh, read, hash up a good uh, relationship. So whether they downline or their customers say brand new product launch on Saturday, uh, please listen to the tape. And just a suggestion, feedback. just a suggestion, yeah. run a special for a week at member price. That's a launch good idea. special at member price, push it for a week and see what happens. I did that with so magnesium and I had some very good results. I, can I just ask? I couldn't yeah, find the flyer. I thought it was on the back office. Have you found the flyer? It is in the, the back prices. office. Yeah, the back uh, the prices are there. I will send it out in the group again now. It is there. Okay, I, I looked under flyers and I looked under prices and maybe I was in a rush. That was yesterday yeah, afternoon or evening. Mandy, well, I'm to trying to place an order and I can't find it. Hasn't, it hasn't been updated no. yet, Mandy. I think so that was probably tomorrow. be updated yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> I oh, also wanted to order to tonight. <laughs> yeah, the, the thing is, it's probably still sitting in Merritt's in Joburg, the stock. And if one place has got yes, no I'm stock, right. you won't get it on the internet. Is a is a vitamin D available locally already? The product? No. Yes. No. Well, it might be locally, but it's not on the yeah. not You're online. On yeah, I suspect they just haven't updated their system yet. We have less than one minute, so no. Okay, no, I'm well, just interested in the flyer. Yeah, Somebody um, asked me already. You know, you know how you were saying, Debbie, just now how it's amazing. How I mean, I know who of you, 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 some of you were saying how it's amazing what they did, and whatever. And Sean was saying it looks better than American one, whatever. I also was amazed to see how they put that together. You know. I mean, it's not easy to be talking to a, a camera or a whatever and nobody is there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When you talk in front of an audience and we do it in Joburg and they're talking in front of people, it's a lot more, it's not easier and it's encouraging. You see faces. There you're looking at a camera and